Welcome everybody to the BoJack tutorial and guide video. In this video I will be showing you how to use this guy, giving you some tips and tricks, showing you how I use this guy, showing you some combos, optimal and non-optimal, tech, and trap shooter cancels. So without further ado, let's get into it with the stamina breaks first. The normal for nearly every single character in the game. One heavy into a light stamina break. Now, this one here. Sometimes, you actually can land it after just two heavies, but I don't recommend trying it because it's inconsistent. Even off, even online it is inconsistent. How uh, This one here. can sometimes work however though it's also inconsistent sometimes look see see how fast they recovered right there inconsistent he has what I like to call bad gap syndrome which leaves terrible unorthodox very poorly adjusted hitboxes and stun frames on his uh, combinations there are a few characters that have problems like that in this game, and Bojack is one of them that has it the worst, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, then he also has this one here. Now, you'd think after that kick he'd also be able to link a light stamina break, but inconsistent as well. And then you can't delay it either. If you delay it, there's a gap. See, it, there's some times. Yeah. How, uh, however, during this punch, you can link it sometimes, although just like the knee, it is inconsistent offline. However, online, this punch will usually work. And so will the knee. But offline, you're always going to want to go into that final hit. And then light stamina break. And this is also the only way that you can link his heavy stamina break, as far as I'm aware. Then he's also got this stamina break set up here. And this will not link a heavy. It has Omega Sen it has Omega Shenron syndrome where it just goes over or under them, making him miss the hit. But something that is un uh, as far as I'm aware, it's unique to Bojack. I don't think there are any other characters that can do this. He can immediately cancel after his back hit into a stamina break. He doesn't have to delay it at all, or have to rely on a stupid amount of stun at all. It is just an immediate, natural cancel. I do not know of any other character that has this. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys do. And yes, this can link a heavy stamina break as well. And I'll go into why this is Loki stupid later on in the video, because I discovered something with him earlier that I was previously not aware of. But now let's get into infinites. He has this one here. You have to be close to the ground in order to do it though. If you are not... You cannot get close enough to them. He has this one here. This one here. Hmm. 
this one here if you want to add a key stun. Then he's also able to do a key continuation after this. And you can loop it. Then he's also got this one here. This is a block cancel. Before that knee, you can block cancel it. He also has a block cancel right here. But what few people know of is that he also has this infinite. He has a combo where he can combo into his back hit immediately and continue the string without stamina breaking, by the way. So he's got he's got a feature like that, which already makes him pretty unique amongst the rest of the cast. As far as I'm aware, he's one of the only ones that can do this consistently. Now be careful about that, though. If you do not time it right, that kick will whiff if you try and do his uh, heavy light heavy combo. See? You gotta time it right. Like that. He's also got another infinite that I'll show you later on in the text section. And it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it, it, it's pretty cool that he's able to do it. But now let's get into combos, super setups, and we'll, I'll show you trap shooter cancels as well, because this is also an infinite combo. They cannot gap this, and they cannot roll out of it. They have to Z-Vanish or Evasive. That grab did not combo, but it's too fast for them to be able to counter. Now, like I said, this combo, for some reason, now online, I can cancel after that, sometimes. You can also extend it with a jump hit. If the stun is long enough. Be careful though. Do not delay it. Otherwise that will happen. It does not have a good enough uh, amount of speed. Now, um, in the air, this combo does work a little bit differently because the, for some reason, Do you see that? On the ground. Let's try it again. Consistently. He was able to gap block it. However, in the air. In the air. In the air. Boom. Boom. It is an extension that you can do. Trap shooter cancels are not hard. All you gotta do is just press the button a second time. And you can actually delay this quite a long time. Like right before he releases the attack. Or you can, you can cancel it immediately like this. Do not mash. If you mash, it will mess up on you. You do have to time it. But that is an extension that you can do. Now if it stuns them like that on the ground, 
You can go into the knee if you will. And this is uh, beneficial to you because, as you'll see here, we'll put him on Z Vanish real quick. Where's Z Vanish? There, there it is. Alright. Boom, boom. It does stun their stamina recovery before you break them. Now, if you break them, if you do break their stamina, he is actually, he's kind of like hit in a way, where if he breaks your stamina, you are going to be stuck in that combo for hours, it feels like, because these combos stun the crap out of your stamina recovery when you're broken. So that's also something that makes him really good. He also has backflips, so that also is very beneficial. Now, online, I'm going to get him onto the top of the map for this to simulate how this works. Get up there, Gohan. At the top of the map, offline, this is how it will work online. After this combo here, you can extend. I did it too slow there. But online, anywhere on the map, after a bomb blast, you can extend after that combo. However, online, offline, it just, well, on the ground, I'll show you real quick, but that's, that sometimes is just a terrible option. Depending on how they lean back whenever you hit them with that final elbow, it can go right over their head. Do you see that? Inconsistency. Something I do not like in this game, and it happens quite frequently with a lot of the DLC characters. 13 and Bojack are probably some of the worst because of that. But he does but uh he does have a very good He does have a very good cancel set. He also has a lot of range on this. It's not as fast, but it has Consistent stun. It has very consistent stun. But, it's also just got a lot of range, so it's a good attack. He's, a, he's got a really fast cancel here. It's about the same speed, and iframes are really good on it. It's... It's kind of like Deborah, if you know how Deborah is. He's got a really overpowered cancel. He's also got a square triangle. However, it cannot be looped because he does launch you at an angle. Unless you're at the top of the map, you cannot loot this. He can also kick cancel out of that and make himself safe right there if your opponent decides to vanish that kick. <laughs> but he's got access to very good skills. He can set up unvanishable uh, ultimates like this. And yes, a uh, Grand Smasher will work after this. Lots of damage. Though you have to be behind them and you have to be on the ground for that to work. Other than that, he's only got this. And this is only a custom Bojack thing, because base Bojack, just, ugh, his moveset is terrible. But enough on that. One of the main combos that you're going to want to do with this guy is...
Oh, hold on a sec. That's right. That does not work offline. You can do stuff like that. You can, you can also do stuff like this. On the ground only, though. And I'll get into why this is ridiculous later on in the tech section. You have to be on the ground. Big damage. You can also do stuff like this. Fully charge the energy wave combo. Boom, 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 boom. Big damage. He does a lot of damage. Especially with the setup that I've got here. I've got the key build on. <clears throat> now, online, that combo will work. It does not have a gap. You can also do stuff like this. Boom, boom. Or stuff like this. And because that does send them to the ground at that distance, you should be able to do... You should be able to do an energy wave combo right there <clears throat> after that. And I'll go ahead and show you that right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe not an energy wave combo, but you would be able to do another... You would be able to do one of his other moves after that. Energy wave combo doesn't work out. I'm a liar. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it for the like the basic combos that you want to do with him. Uh, in terms of trap shooter cancel setups, whenever you want a stamina break. Let's see. Here. You've got. You're gonna want to be in the air for this offline. Oh, good grief. You can stamina break after looping that once. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Um, uh, uh. See how freaking heavy? He stuns you whenever he hits you with those hits when your stamina is broken. Look at how slow it made his stamina recovery. You want, whenever you break the stamina, always try and hit them with these big old hits. It's very good. You're going to want to be in the air for this as well. Oops. Hold on a sec. I didn't do it quick enough. You gotta be quick for this. Come on. Boom. 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 Hold on. You gotta be fast. If you're not fast, that can't happen. Boom. Boom. That's actually a tech setup. I did not mean to do that right there. That's one of the other combos that you can do right there. 
Now, if you, uh, the main way that you want to set up his ultimate attacks, the combos that you want to use are this one here. After this final punch, you're going to do any of your ultimate attacks. <clears throat> After this big old spin kick here, you're going to want to do any of your ultimate attacks. And then after this here, after this double axe can handle slam right here, you're going to do any of your ultimate attacks. Though be very, very careful about Grand Smasher online, because just the other day when I was playing this guy online, somebody dropped out of this, and it cost me the match. So be very careful about this move. Because trying to spend, trying to uh, get a bit of extra damage that you wouldn't get with full power energy wave, it might cost you the match if the game is deciding to be pretty dickish. So just be weary of that. Just be very, very weary of that. Online, that stamina break combo will work pretty consistently too. The stun is different online for his little uh, heavy hit combos. And yes, this will stun the crap out of their stamina recovery whenever they're broken as well. It's not just the knee. It's not just the knee that does it. <clears throat> so it's also worth doing this combo if you can. Though the knee is more efficient because it can lead into stuff like this. Now then, let me get into tech now. Now for tech, I'm actually going to leave the stamina recovery on this time because you can do some pretty cool tech with this guy without having to stamina break them first. Clear example, this. Look at that. I'll show it to you again. Big damage and fancy. Very simple, very easy to do. You can only do it when they're on the when you are on the ground. But it also gives you access to a loop. I'll try and demonstrate that here. I actually figured this one out earlier. You see how they bounce off the ground? <clears throat> right as you uh, hit them with that? It allows you to do that. And that is an infinite combo that they cannot roll out of. It does work online, though the timing can be a little bit iffy depending on the lag. But yeah, recovery is on. No stamina break required. None at all. It works completely fine. And no stamina break needed. As far as I am aware, Bojack is one of the only characters in the game that can actually do something like this. To my knowledge, there is no other character in the game that is capable of doing something like this. That's not all, though. There's actually a stamina break setup that you can do with this tech. And I'll show you that right now. Watch closely. Look at that. Pretty sick, right? That's not all though. We can go even further. 
And this is, uh, <laughs> this is something that I think is low-key stupid about him that I don't think anybody else knows about. And I figured this out earlier just by tinkering around with him. But after this combo here, because he is able to immediately cancel into a stamina break after his back end, Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. He has an unvanishable stamina break set up. He is a cast character, and he's one of the least used cast characters in the game. Yet he has one of the cheapest things to do in the entire game. An unvanishable stamina break. Look at that. Now look at how disrespectful he can get. With this. If you don't want to be an absolute douche and unvanishable stamina break them. And it cannot link a heavy stamina break, by the way. I should have mentioned that earlier, but I thought I'd just demonstrate it right there. Boom. 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 Look at that. Boom. Boom. Look at how disrespectful that is. And you cannot get out of that. On the ground, he is very, very dangerous when it comes to just being able to utterly disrespect your opponent. Oh, it's beautiful. I love this about him. This is one of my favorite things to do with him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, now we're going to get into tech that you're going to want to do only after you stamp their break. Yeah. Now, after you stamp and break them, we're just going to put him on recovery off to simulate this. There is uh, this here. Oh, hold on a sec. Oh, hold on. It can be a little bit awkward. There you go. You can do that. Then he's also got this one here. Whenever their stamina is broken, you can immediately go into a back hit after that. Wind block canceling. Pretty sick. Then he's also got this here, which is probably, uh, he's also got this here, right here. You can. Unlock back hit mid combo like that. Now, online, you can do stuff like that. Offline, it is inconsistent, but that is a pretty disrespectful combo that you can do right there. And because you can back hit, you can immediately go into a stamina break after that jump hit. <clears throat> pretty sick. Now, let's see here. Uh, whenever their stamina is broken after this combo on the ground. You can also do that more consistently. You don't have to worry about them possibly rolling out of it because of lag. I would only try this if the connection is stable. Because I really don't understand why the AI is not able to roll out of this. But it's weird. Online, that will probably not work very consistently, so just be aware of that. <clears throat> now, for... for key slide setups... Uh, let's see. There, it's, there are two potential ones, actually. Alright, that does not work. Uh, let's see. There's that one that I thought might be possible. 
Let's see if we can do something like this. So a block cancel. I actually did this earlier. Uh, that sometimes happens, however. There we go. It's pretty hard to do. I would not recommend doing this until you practice on... You need to practice this both offline and online before you even try it anytime. It's pretty hard to do. In fact, I haven't really figured it out completely myself how I'm able to do this. See, it sometimes just does not. It's it's very very hard to get consistent <clears throat> because that sometimes happens. Sometimes it won't even let me back it. Or it will do that and make me turn around. There we go. Got it to work again. But that's a key slide setup with him. <clears throat> and I do believe that's the last of the tech I've figured out with this guy. He doesn't have much kind of like Raditz, but he just he just has some of the most disrespectful ways to tech in the entirety of the game, dude. He can do it. He can do this without even stamina breaking you. Like, he can do this right here without even stamina breaking you. That is ridiculous. <laughs> I love this character and I hope that this video does well in making other people play this guy because he is very underrated he is low-key very good not just because of the unvanishable stamina break but because of the fact that he's also got pretty solid movement despite having slow dash speed and slow flight speed he does have very good movement because he has very fast cancels he has a very good back hit. He can stun your stamina recovery with his little uh, stun combos here. And online, as I mentioned, these combos will per work perfectly. It's just offline the stun is weird. So with that said, everybody, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe for more from my channel. And if you want to give me suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Ex though I will say this right now. Um, try to keep it at least mid-tier character suggestions. I don't want to see people requesting me to do Hit, Blue Goku, Blue Gogeta, Blue Vegito, or Final Form Cooler, or any, any characters like that. They're just, because those characters are just play to win shitty ass characters that I do not care for plain and simple but with all that said I appreciate you all watching the video and I suppose I'll see you all later in the next video goodbye <laughs>